experts in LASIK. Oh, oh, uh, I didn't see you there. Um, well, hello, class. Hi. Uh, hello, Mr. Shepard. Um, as you can see, I'm here taking my driver's test right now. You see, uh, vroom, vroom, just, uh, um, honk, honk, uh, e-brake, e e-brake. Um, well, I mean, I guess this isn't very convincing because, well, it's kind of nighttime outside. Um, I'm not doing my driver's test right now. Well, you see, I am. Hopefully, unless something has gone catastrophically wrong and I'm sitting in your classroom. I am taking my driver's test, but not right now. This is the day before, at nighttime, which is why it's dark outside. So, yeah. But you're not here for all that. You're here for um, the video. Well, you see, the video, it's in two parts. Okay, so I'm re-recording this section because it, it just took way too long. I don't want to burden Mr. Shepard with another... 10 minutes of video like I do with the last one. So, yada, yada, yada. Videos in two parts. One's the trailer. One's the Freight Tanks Pyramid. Blah, blah, blah. One's academic. Here I am sitting in my car. Not actually driving. Because it's nighttime. And... Yeah. Uh, oh, there goes my radio. Um, yeah. Enjoy. I'll see you on the other side. Hi. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, back already? Well, I, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, it took a lot of a, um, well, I don't know what it took a lot of. I guess I was kind of nervous this whole weekend about making it, but now it's done. And I think it came out pretty okay. Um, just a word of warning to you, Mr. Shepard. Um, for this um, next part that's coming up, you might want to skip skip some parts of it. I know that that's kind of hard for me to say, but, um, it's not like very, it's not edited down. And so it's just me talking about the freight tags pyramid. It's actually like me placing each image on it, blah, 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 blah. You'll, you'll see it. Just feel free to skip around if you deem it necessary. Uh, it's about five minutes long. So yeah, if you, if you need the class time, just, I don't know, turn on double speed or, uh, uh, skip, to each, when I place each image, I don't know, do what you need to do, yeah. See you on the other side, class. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, um, last part of the video, in the, uh, trailer. Now, on to the more educational part. As you can see, this is Freytax Pyramid. Well, what is Freytax Pyramid? Well, basically, it's kind of like, like, how the um, action plays out in a story. So you have, like, the beginning of the story and, like, what events cause the um, action to... Oh, well, you see Rise on this side. And then your Climax, which is basically, like, the big, big action. The um, It kind of, I don't know, finishes it off. Uh, I don't know. And you got this. And, yeah. Um, so here we have our nine panels all laid out. These are the, um, ones my group chose. So first panel we have is the one where the Monkey King is sitting in his chair 
after um, the party, and he's like, um, he smells the wet monkey fur, and he stays up the whole night to think about how to get rid of it. Um, where I think this goes is, I want to say right here, it's right after the inciting incident, which I would say in the Monkey King's case is not being let into the party. Next, we have the lady saying you can do anything as long as you sell your soul. I want to put this in the um, exposition because uh, Jin Wang hasn't really had his inciting incident, which to me is, well, the way he's treated at school. People make fun of him and whatnot. Um, next, we have Chinky and uh, Danny's chapter. I would say I want to put him... Um, right after the inciting incident, because to me, for Danny, the inciting incident is, well, Chinky's arrival, which, wait, isn't this the first, um, first instance of Chinky? Okay, well, I, th I, th I believe it is, so in that case, I'll just make this, uh, Danny's inciting incident. So, next, we have... Um, the Monkey King, after he comes out of his cave, he's really tall. You saw in the trailer, I just, um, put two monkeys on top of my car, and then I had a really tall monkey. That was me just stretching it out. Uh, anyway, um, I'm gonna say this is in the rising action, because he's had his inciting incident. This is further along in the story. It's all building towards that climax. Next, in the Jin Wang chapters, we have, um, where he's thinking about this kid's hair, this really annoying kid, um, again, rising action, building up to that climax, next, we have, uh, the guy in Danny's chapter, Danny and the guy are conversing, talking about Chinky, again, goes in the rising action, oftentimes, or, well, what, our, our group pretty much chose all stuff that, uh, comes in the rising action, but, well, that's what most of the book is. And that's how, usually, to me, it seems like um, you you have a lot of rising action and then your climax and maybe, like, 10 or 15 minutes in a movie or something of falling action. Next, we have... What would it be? This one. Nope. Uh, this one. Where Danny turns into... Well, I mean, uh, Jin Wang turns into Danny. I'm going to say this is right before the climax, because pretty sure the climax happens in the exact same chapter as this. So this comes, um, like, right before the climax. And to me, the climax is, um, the like, the fight scene with Danny. But more specifically, the part where um, Danny knocks off uh, Ch Chinky's head. To me, that seems like the climax, like the big... Boom! There you go. Then the falling action. Uh, and we have this. I'm going to say this is the resolution. Because the resolution is kind of like where we see if the character was successful and whatnot. And we can see here that um, Chin Wang was at least partially successful in um, getting... Um, Wei Ching to, well, talk to him and whatnot. All right, that is um, what I believe to be, using the panels our group chose, the um, Freytag's Pyramid, Freytag's Pyramid for American-born Chinese. Um, yeah. Yeah.